today and I'm so excited to take you guys along for another little vlog because you guys have been telling me on Instagram that you want to see more day in the light videos of living in Buffalo. So that's what I'm bringing you guys today. Matt and I, that's driving us, we are on our way to brunch. We're hoping to go to Betty's. Betty's is one of the best brunch spots in Buffalo. If you guys have been watching the vlog for a little bit, you saw my day in the light video where I myself out to lunch, went to Betty's, and just had myself a really nice day. So I'm so excited to go to Betty's. Hopefully we get in. It can be really busy on Sundays and it is a beautiful day. You can see downtown Buffalo. And part of the reason too why I wanted to bring you guys along is I thought it would be a cool thing to show you guys because I'm going to do some photos after we get brunch. It's a really nice day out and I thought it would be cool for me to show you how I end up editing my photos for Instagram. So I'm going to take you guys along for a fun little day in the life brunch and a little bit of behind the scenes editing and like content creator life. So let's get into it. bumping in Buffalo. There are so many people out and about downtown, which is amazing to see, but it also means that everyone had the same idea about going to Betty's. So we're going to try public because it like worst cases, we can at least get coffees and then walk around a little bit. It's so gorgeous out here. Mm. Oh, it's so nice out. But yeah, it was definitely going to be probably at least like I would say a 45-ish minute wait at Betty's. Um, Alberta in front of us. Wait. Uh oh, little Canada friend. Oh my god, that smell. Right. Mm. One day I'm gonna get my deviated septum fixed and I'm gonna be able to smell things in an even more real way because yeah. I'm breathing in and I'm like, I can only. I can smell it so vaguely. Probably, yeah. yeah. One of my favorite views in all of Buffalo. It's so the good. The next light, the view of the bank and the electric tower just doesn't get old. It's so good. I'll show you guys in just a second. How good! Yeah, there's so many people out and about. It's like a walkathon or something. I do not know, but it is a popular day in Buffalo. Love to see it. It's so crowded. It must be some like a cancer walk or something, you know? Yeah. What did you think? It's good. It was new uh, menu. Yeah. I don't know how new, but we haven't been there since. They changed it up a little bit. Probably February, March. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was nice to go to public. Found a spot to sit, no problem. Oh, it's a little windy. It's pretty chilly. It's pretty chilly. Um, I am so happy to have this hot drink in my hand. I've got a honey lavender latte. Oh my God. It's going to be Main Street windy. terrible. You guys are not going to be to hear me. Um, oh, and I, my hair is gonna get all up. Okay. Oh, yeah, can we? Should we go down and walk. <sighs> we should walk somewhere else. Yeah. This is not. Yeah, like let's get. Down there is a wind tunnel too. This whole area. Oh, I don't like it. This is like actually yeah. killing my mood. Okay, I need to fix my hair. I need to put the camera away. So we came a little parking garage because fun fact parking garages make for like perfect spots for photos because even if you're just like in the garage honestly it's like a very neutral background for photos but then if you walk obviously up to the top of whatever parking garage you're gonna get some kind of view and I wanted to get this little view because we're in the heart of downtown and kind of no matter what angle you would shoot from up there you'd get some good buildings in the back and they're like these Super fun, colorful ones. I'll show you. It's not a very tall parking garage, but you can see behind me 
I was hoping to get that as my little background for some pictures, but there are all these no trespassing signs all over the place. So we're abiding by the signs and we're gonna see if we can't find another parking garage or something as a good background for photos. Okay, so we are at the Gold Dome and I'm gonna take some pictures right in front of the Gold Dome. So we are literally back in front of Public again. We walked down to the Gold Dome, did a few pictures there, and then we kind of just walked back and now we're walking over to the, I think it's called the Adam ramp yep. by East Eagle and Washington. It's a really big parking ramp. It's one of the most, I feel like, popular parking ramps, especially for if you're going to, um, like honestly, either a Sabres game oh, or a fun. Bison's game. It's not, it's uh, yeah, I guess that is far for the Sabres, but like, I don't know, that's. Bison's for sure. Yeah. But even then. It's not that far though. It's like a, not even a full mile, it's but. It's definitely over a mile. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to Here, look it's it like up. A bitter J January night. Yeah. You know, well, yeah. In the so winter. Fast. In the winter, it's very cold. But I don't know. You could do it. So yeah, the Robert Adam parking ramp is where we're going. It's like seven stories high. So it's a good spot for photos. And they charge you to park there. So it's always great to just go in and walk and not have to pay the money. <laughs> On level five, almost at the top. My legs are starting to feel it. How about yours? Yeah, a little sore. Matt golfed yesterday. Matt had one of his best golf days of his golfing career yesterday. Hey everyone, leave some claps in the comments. For Matt, we're on level seven. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we're almost there. We're on the purple level. Ooh, we made it. We're not even taking pictures up here because there's not really a great spot. I think partially because, thank you Em, it's so, so sunny. Maybe because it's just so bright. But there just wasn't really a great spot for it and I didn't think that I'd end up liking how the picture would turn out. But that's honestly part of the process of being like a creator and going around and looking for different spots for photos and stuff is like you just have to be willing to go and explore and take a few kind of test shots and or kind of use your eye in the moment to be like okay I'd frame it like this and if you don't like the frame just chalk it up as a loss slash a lesson learned and move on to another spot because I have found that sometimes I get some of the best photos and spots that I'm like yeah I wouldn't have ever thought that like Matt actually pulled me um, aside when we were walking over here and he's like "Ooh, you want to take a few pictures here I think this spot looks really good and I feel like those might end up being my favorite ones of the day so it's just a reminder to like always stay open-minded when you're going out to take pictures because you just never know what different frames and angles and locations you'll find and don't have your heart set on trying to force something to work in a specific location if it's just not seeming like it's gonna look good just move on and find a new spot. We are home, right? He's so happy. I also have to like wash these jeans because I spilt egg all over them at brunch. Good times. But now that we're home, I am going to get my photos loaded onto my computer because the process that I usually go through for editing my pictures for Instagram is I take them on my camera, then get them onto my laptop, then I will airdrop them onto my phone, and then edit them with Lightroom on my phone. So that is gonna be, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get them all onto my computer and then get them on my phone and end up editing them on Lightroom. Okay, so now that I just got all of the footage onto my laptop, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna airdrop the photos onto my camera and go through the photos to figure out which ones I like the most. There are probably, there are like 20 photos, so I'm not gonna end up using all of them, but having them on my phone and being able to go through them on my phone always feels easier, so I'm gonna airdrop them all to my phone, figure out which ones I like the best, and then edit them. So now 
that I know which photos I saved like 13 of them and I'm gonna edit a few of them I just imported them into Lightroom so I'm gonna use a few of my presets to just edit a few of them and I am gonna show you guys the befores and afters so I'm gonna show you a few of the photos just to show you the location so I took a photo at M&T Gold Dome Bank so I took a few here also took a few at the electric tower and then this little spot that Matt suggested. So those are all of the before photos and now I'm going to show you a few of the after ones just with some simple editing in Lightroom. So these are some of the afters. So if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see more of these videos. I specifically made this video because in my Instagram polls, I have been asking you guys just a lot more questions and I know that you guys have wanted to see more behind the scenes. Just what I'm doing in Buffalo, fun date ideas. We were gonna do a date night last night, but I just wasn't in the mood to go out for dinner last night. So we decided to turn it into a little date day today so if you guys liked it hit the thumbs up and be sure to hit the bell and subscribe so you don't miss out and i'll see you guys in the next one